Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about inheritance in Python. Now, inheritance is basically where we can define a bunch of attributes and functions and things inside of a class, and then we can create another class and we can inherit all of those attributes. So I could basically have one class that has all the functionality of another class without having to physically write out any of the same methods or attributes. So if that's confusing, don't worry. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this is uh, in this video. So let me show you about some stuff I have set up over here. I created this class called Chef. And over here, we just have this class Chef. And inside of this Chef class, we have three functions. So this Chef can do three things. The Chef can make chicken, the Chef can make salad, and the chef can make a special dish. And whenever the chef makes a dish, he basically just says, the chef makes a chicken, or the chef makes a salad, or the chef makes barbecue ribs for this special dish. It's basically just saying whatever the chef is doing. So if I was to come over here to my app.python file, you notice that I'm importing the chef. So I'm basically allowed to use this chef class now. And I can say my chef is equal to chef. So I'm creating a new chef. So now if I came down here and I said my chef dot make chicken, when I run my program, now it's gonna say the chef makes a chicken. If I said make special dish and I run the program, now it's gonna say the chef makes barbecue ribs, right? Because that's the chef's special dish. So I have this really awesome chef class and it works really well. But let's say that I wanted to create another class to model another type of chef, right? So this chef class is just modeling like some generic chef, right? We're representing some generic chef in our program. But let's say that I wanted to create a class that modeled a different type of chef. For example, let's say we wanted to create a class that modeled a Chinese chef. So instead of just a normal chef, this is a Chinese chef. Well, I actually created a file over here called ChineseChef.Python. So we could actually use this ChineseChef.Python file to create our Chinese Chef class. So I'm just gonna say class, and over here I'm just gonna say Chinese Chef, and basically I just can define everything that the Chinese Chef can do. But let's say that our Chinese Chef can do everything that our generic chef can do. So the Chinese chef is like a special chef, right? It's a very specific type of chef. But let's say that this Chinese chef can do everything that the normal chef can do. So the Chinese chef can make chicken, can make salad, and can also make a special dish. Well, if I wanted to give this Chinese chef all of that functionality, I could just come over here and I could copy all of these functions and I could paste them in here. And so now the Chinese chef can do everything that the other chef can do. But let's say that in addition to all of these things, the Chinese chef can also make a special dish called fried rice. So I could say def, and we could say make fried rice. So the Chinese chef has this extra function which allows it to make fried rice. And over here we could just say the chef makes fried rice. And let's also say that the Chinese chef has a different special dish. So instead of making barbecue ribs, the Chinese chef makes orange chicken. All right, so now we have our Chinese chef class set up and you'll notice that it can do everything that the normal chef could do. So let's go back over to our app.python file and I wanna create a Chinese chef object. So instead of importing from chef, we're gonna just import from Chinese chef. So I'll say, Chinese chef, and we're gonna import Chinese chef. So let's go ahead and make a Chinese chef object. So down here, I'm gonna make one, and I'll just say my, and then my Chinese chef, we can print out this special dish. So remember, the Chinese chef can do everything that the normal chef could do. So if I say my Chinese chef dot make special dish, when I run this program, you'll see the, Regular chef is making barbecue ribs and the Chinese chef is making orange chicken. So everything works out. And this Chinese chef also has an extra method called make fried rice. And you can also make fried rice. But here's the problem, right? When I go over here to this Chinese chef dot pi, when I wanted to use all of the functionality that was inside this chef class, 
I actually had to copy and physically paste all of these functions down into this file, right? And that's kind of a drag. I mean, especially like, imagine if this chef had like 20 or 30 of these different functions in it. Well, I'd have to copy and I'd have to paste all of those inside of this Chinese chef. And this is where we can use something called inheritance. So instead of having to copy and paste all of these functions, I could just inherit these functions from that chef class. And in order to do that, I can actually just get rid of all of these and I can come over here and right next to where I'm saying class Chinese chef, inside of parentheses, I can say the name of the class that I want to inherit from. So I could just say chef. And I'm also gonna have to import this. So I'm gonna come over here and we'll say from chef import chef. So basically what this is saying is inside of this Chinese chef, I want to be able to use all of the functions that are contained inside of the chef class. So I'll say that one more time. Inside of this Chinese chef class, I want to be able to use all of the functions that are inside of this chef class. So by using inheritance here, I'm actually able to come over here to this app.py file. And now I'm still able to execute, for example, like the make chicken function. Even though I didn't specify the make chicken function in here, I didn't write it out, I can still run this program and the Chinese, stuff, the Chinese chef will still be able to make chicken. So when I run this program, you'll see down here, it says the chef makes chicken. And that's because I inherited the make chicken method from the chef class. But here's one thing that got messed up. If I come over here and I say make special dish, Remember, the Chinese chef special dish was supposed to be orange chicken, but now the Chinese chef is gonna be making barbecue ribs because I inherited this make special dish function from this chef class. And so what I can actually do is I could come in here and I could override that make special dish class. So I could say def make special dish, and down here I can just override it. So I could say, the chef makes orange chicken. And now when I go over here and I run this make special dish function, now the chef's gonna be back to making orange chicken. So the Chinese chef will make his special dish. So that's basically what inheritance does. It allows me to inherit functionality from an existing class into the new class. And I can actually just inherit all of it without having to write it out. So I didn't have to write out make chicken and make salad inside the Chinese class, but the Chinese chef can still make chicken and salad because it inherited that functionality from the chef class. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.